The previous video in this playlist looked at this associative law here. This video is going to have a look at the other associative law. This is the other associative law here and what we're saying is that we can take A and B and we can and that with C. Over here we can take the A and we can and that with the B and C. And what we can state is that these two are equivalent. To show that they're equivalent we'll have a look at a truth table that we will build up one column at a time. Here we can see the truth table inputs and there are eight combinations because we have A, B and C and if we have three variables then we take two and we raise it to the number of variables so two to the three is eight. Now the first column I'm going to consider is this one here. I'm going to have a look at when A and B are anded together and that will involve looking at each of these in turns. I'm going to take the first two here, we have a zero. Now this is an anding column, in other words I'm anding the A to B. And if I scan down I can see where we have two ones, i.e. when A is a one and B is a one is here, so that will be a one, and the other occasion is here, so that will be a one there. And if we scan very quickly and we look at all of these, in turn, have a look at them, I'll just put a tick against them here, and you can see that none of them have a condition where they're both one. So that means I can put all zeros here. Now for the next column, I'm going to take the column that I've just produced, which is the A and B, and I'm going to and that with the C column. In other words, I'm going to take each one of these in turn, and I'm going to and them together. So here I can see 0 and 0 is a 0. And now I'm going to scan down very, very quickly, and I can see the last entry here is where I have C as a 1 and A and B as a 1. And that's the only condition when I look at both of these columns where both columns have a 1 in. So that there will give me A1. And if I have a look at all the other conditions in turn, so see those two there that I've put a tick against, there's only one 1 present, so that will be a 0. And looking at each of them in turn, we can see that none of them have a condition where they're both 1. So that means that all of these here are a 0. I'm now going to have a look at what happens when we and together B and C. So here we can see I've taken the B and the C, and I put them in brackets. And now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to have a look at this entry here when B is a 0 and C is a 0, and obviously we'll have a 0 there. Now if I scan down very quickly, I can see that there's an occasion here when B is a 1 and C is a 1, and when we're anding those together, then obviously it'll be a 1 here. And then the last one here in the last row we can see b is a one and c is a one so that would be a one there now for every other condition and i'm putting a tick against them here we can see that none of them is a condition where they're both one so that would mean that all of these would now be zero because we need two ones when we're anding things together to give us a one for the last column we're going to have a look at the a column and we're going to and that with the B and C column just produced. And if we look at the first entry under the A, we can see that's a 0. And if we look at B and C, we can see that's a 0. So 0 and 0 is a 0. Now we can look down at each of the values of A and the values of B and C. And we will note that in the last entry, we can see A is a 1 and B and C is a 1, so that would be a 1 there. Now for all of the other combinations possible, I'll just look at one more, then this is a 0, because 0 and 0 is a 0. And all the others, in fact, will give us a 0. So that's the entry for A and B and C. Now this here, A and B, anded with C, is represented by this column. This here, a anded with B and C is represented by this column. If you have a look at these two columns, you can see that they're identical. In fact, there's a zero in both cases, all the way down, apart from the last entry when you can see that they're both one. Consequently, it's correct for us to say that this is equivalent to this. 
you can see I've taken this and I've rewrote it up here and immediately below I've produced the combinational logic circuit for this here. This one I've recopied here and immediately below I've drawn the combinational logic circuit. What I'm going to do, I'm going to choose a condition where A, B and C variables are all set to zero. So that would mean that this would be a zero here, this would and this. For the other combinational logic circuits, obviously, they would also be zero. If I now have a look at this logic gate, while both of its inputs are a zero, consequently, because it's an AND gate, the output would be a zero. And that zero will come here and be the input to this gate. Now, obviously, C is set to zero, so that one comes here and is a zero the input to this gate. Now this is an AND gate, consequently the output here would be a zero. If I now come down to this particular circuit here, then this A will come down here and will be a zero to this logic gate, and this gate has at its input a zero and a zero, so the output here will be a zero. And the consequence of that is that zero will come to this particular AND gate, and of course the output from this AND gate would be a zero, because both of its inputs are a zero. And we can see that for the condition when they're all zero, the outputs here are zero, meaning that this is equivalent to this if we have the same output for all the other possible combinations of A, B and C. Now I'm going to let you do that, I'll let you do that in your own time. And you will find, in fact, no matter what combination of A, B and C you choose, the output would be the same. And it should be zero for every case except the last one, in which case the output would be a one. Now this has been a long drawn out process to show, in fact, that this and this are equivalent. And overall now you can see that there are two associative laws that are of importance and they're both shown here. The previous video discussed the first one.